Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sharif, Fast Car Seats. Um, gonna do my first install video today. So uh, for those of you who've been following, you know that I've done some cosmetic updates to the car. And um, I put in, performance wise, I put in coilovers and a strut bar, uh, but nothing really to the motor so far. Um, still not gonna actually get inside the motor at this point. We're just gonna stick with bolt-ons. And the first project is gonna be a dine-in cold air intake. So maybe a good place to start is with the basics of how a motor works. Internal combustion engines are four stroke engines. And basically what that means is that there's four steps to the process. So the first step is called intake. And that's when your motor sucks in air uh, from the outside. And there's different types of intakes. There's some that are called short ram, which is where the intake is a really short tube with a big filter on the end of it. And it's right by the engine and it's just right there. There's cool air intakes, which relocates the filter to a spot farther from the motor uh, so that you get away from some of the heat generated by the motor and you get cooler air. The idea being that cooler air is gonna be denser than warmer air. And so then when you're sucking in that air, you're gonna stuff in more air into the into the, the, the chamber, okay? So first stroke is intake. Second stroke is compression. So this is where, if you think of the piston, uh, the piston's gonna push up into the chamber to compress the air that gets brought in. So first it comes down, the piston comes down to bring the air in, creates a vacuum effect basically, and, and sucks in the air. That's when your, your engine is gonna spit out some fuel. I'm kind of simplifying it, but it spits out some fuel into there so you get the air fuel mixture in the chamber. Then it's gonna compress, the piston's gonna compress, then it's going to combust. So this is where your spark plug will create a spark to explode that air fuel mixture. The explosion causes the piston to shoot down. And then the final stroke is exhaust. And that's when the piston comes back up and blows the air out of the cylinder. And then it just keeps doing that over and over. And that's called the four stroke engine. So today we're gonna work on installing a cool air intake, which will help with the first part of that whole process, which is the intake portion. So I'm gonna take you through the install. It's a pretty simple process. I've got my uh, two-year-old helper out here, so he might make an appearance. Um, and yeah, let's get in there. First step is to remove two 10 millimeter bolts that are over here. Next step is to remove, kind of loosen up the snorkel that connects to the front of the chassis up here right behind the headlight. Next is to remove, there's two clips right here. I hope you can see them on the camera. There's two clips right here. One I got really easily, the other I didn't. So I'm just gonna get a little flat head screwdriver to loosen that up. And now this whole air box is free should be free because airbox so look how big this thing is can i hold it yeah you can hold it good job kiddo so i'm gonna just kind of get this in there real quick so you can see how much open space there is and then this is gonna this intake is gonna drop in right in there so i'll show you that as we get to it so basically now that i've gotten in there it's going to sit in this little triangle that you can see right there that thing that's in the way is the horn so next thing i need to do is relocate that there you go there's the horn Okay, I'm not really sure where I stopped recording. Hopefully I didn't lose a ton. Basically, the part that I'm at now is I'm relocating the horn. Uh, Dinan wants me to go in there with a some kind of saw and saw it off, but I don't have that kind of equipment, so uh, I won't be doing that. Um, I'm just gonna figure it out with uh, pry bars and pliers and things like that. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, and now I'm just going to not really hammer down, but just kind of press down the sharp parts <clears throat> so that they're not in the way and they don't scratch up my carbon fiber intake. So let me show you guys what I did. Basically, I just, <clears throat> I cut the horn bracket out and then I just kind of pushed that remaining metal down so that it'd be out of the way. You know, again, remember that the, the intake is gonna go in right into that triangle. So I uh, just wanted to get that part out of the way. Okay, so what I just did was I took out the, uh, the undercarriage cover here so that I can get into, get into the area um, behind the fog lights. I just think it's gonna be a little bit easier to work on uh, if I can get in from kind of where the wheel would be. So just remove that and uh, I'll see what kind of angle I get once I'm in there and then we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So this is a pretty good shot. So now that I've taken now that I've taken the undercarriage off, and you can see my sweet coilovers that I put on, uh, you can see here. This is there's an air duct. The purpose of that is to relocate air or to filter air through onto your brakes to keep them from getting too hot. So that's what that is. <laughs> this is a fog light. So I'm gonna basically relocate the horn so that it sits on that. And then the filter, once I put it in, the cool the cooler intake is going to come in and probably sit right right here. Um, now I might need to lose this duct. I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see how it how that all goes. I'm not sure exactly how how low the filter is going to sit. Um, so yeah, we'll see we'll we'll see where where this ends up. I'll show you. This is I guess the uh, the before, and we'll look at the after once I'm done installing things. All right, we are back at it. Um, just now moving on to actually putting in the uh, the bracket that's going to hold the new intake in place. So let me get right to it. Start drilling some holes. on to the next part here so we've got a bracket that's gonna basically help hold the uh, the new intake in place uh, basically what we're gonna do now is Dynan includes this bracket that just kind of slides in right here and then it'll attach right right here so I'm just gonna it includes a couple 10 millimeter bolts I'm just gonna attach that on there and that'll just help hold the new intake in place since it'll be a little bit more, uh, I guess, you know, free. Now actually, as I'm putting these in, it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, I think, but this bracket is actually designed where it's, you can put the bolts in and then just kind of slide this on. That's how these are designed. So that makes it even easier to put in. And that's why you buy quality products like Dynan because they think of sh things like this. got first hose little rubber hose is gonna connect to there and it 
you basically just use that metal clamp to put it in place. Next, the carbon fiber tube is gonna basically connect that part to that part. And then you're just gonna tighten it all with the supplied clamps. So that's the part that I'm gonna do right now. So here's a trick. You can just install this part first, get, the, uh, get this all ready to go, guide it up through its path, and it's a little cheater way to be almost done. All right, guys, we are just about done and just look at how clean this looks. <clears throat> you can check it out from the undercarriage as well. Let me just pull this off. That turned out really well. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So now all that's left is reconnect everything, fire it up and see how it sounds. So just a quick thing that I want to show you guys while I'm in here, I figured I'd just take care of it while I'm in here is I closed up this bumper gap. Uh, I don't have a before picture, but it was bad enough that I wanted to at least take care of it while I was in here. See, there's these two screws and basically, you know, for as sturdy as BMWs have a reputation for being, this piece is not very sophisticated. But basically, if you just kind of push up your bumper, and then tighten these screws, you can close up that gap. So just figured, obviously it's not part of the uh, intake installation, but while I'm in here, you know, might as well show you this and then uh, put the Dynan sock on just to protect that filter. So yeah, just uh, now I'm just putting the car back together and then getting inside.